All right, I just did a, a, a bit of a disclaimer about minute and a half. I'll post it up, check it out. Uh, anyways, let's, let's go on. Um, so let's, let's talk about money. Um, how about, how about common spending areas? All right. So everybody needs a vehicle. Everybody gets a vehicle. Almost a lot of people get vehicles. Okay. Um, if you want to get a vehicle for cheap, you can get a motorbike and ride a motorbike around. Um, I remember when I was younger and I mean, old enough to drive, um, I remember Walmart came out with an e-scooter. I think it went up to 40 kilometers an hour or something. Um, and it was only like 300 and it was only like 399 or something. You know what I mean? That's very cheap. Having a vehicle for $400. Now in those days, you didn't even need a, uh, um, um, motorbike insurance or insurance. You needed no insurance on it. And you didn't have to pay for any parking. You could just park it wherever you wanted. Can you believe that? It's not, it's not the case anymore. I think to ride a motor scooter, you need a motorbike license and, and, and all that stuff. Um, yeah, uh, it, it, it's good for inner streets and all that. I, I've, I've ridden a scooter and, it, and it's a lot of fun. Riding, r riding a motor scooters is a lot of fun. Um, I have done that. And, for, for, for a whole day. I, I, I rode the scooter around for the whole day. Um, I really enjoyed it, to be honest. Um, but uh, yeah, anyways, anyways, so moving, moving on. Where, where do people typically spend? So how about, let's talk about vacationing. This is a big, this is a big money subject now. The hospitality industry is gigantic. The hospitality industry is one of the biggest attractions that there can be. I mean, um, when it comes to entertainment, I mean, hospitality industry is, is, is really important. So you got your cruise lines, you know, every, I think every country has, or every, you can always fly to a place. If you don't have it in your country, you go to a port, take a cruise uh, and you can go out and, and you can have all inclusive eating and drinking. They got like 12 restaurants on the cruise and all that. I'll be honest, cruise lines look really cool. Uh, but I, I, I mean, I have never been on one. I don't really think I ever will go on one, but the hospitality industry is big, right? Hospitality, hospitality industry includes restaurants, cafes, hotels, and all that stuff. Um, and, and, and it can really peak in the summertime in some places, but, uh, that, that's a big place where money gets spent. Um, that's a big place for business as well, because a lot of businesses spend their, uh, sorry, spend, they send their uh, employees, business, business people, any of people who own businesses, business owners and business partners, they go and they, they travel a lot. You know, they travel a lot. They go here, they go there, they stay at the hotel, they meet with all their uh, friends and clients and, and all their partners and everything. And that's, that's just the norm. You know what I mean? Uh, not everybody stays at a five star. Some people stay at a three star, two star, but it doesn't really matter. You know, you are where you are at every, at every different part of your life. And you know, that leads me to a very interesting point is that is, is how unique all of us are. You know what I mean? Now, I'm not saying that we're all different or we're all the same, but when you think about it, you know, with how unique we are, uh, we always manage, I mean, day to day, we always fall into different groups and, and different categories and and different, different things and, you know, different categories and any kind of thing you can think of. And, um, and you know, it's all for a reason. You know what I mean? I end up, um, me and three other business people are going to a hotel uh, and, and doing some business stuff. And I mean, we're going to be eating buffet together. We're going to be eating together. We're going to be hanging out together. You know what I mean? That's our point. I, I, I'm going to tell you a little something about myself. I'm going to tell you a little something about myself. So I, um, when I initially went to Dubai, I went to the city max, which was a very nice hotel. I think it was only like six stories or eight stories or 10 stories. It wasn't a big hotel, but I mean, city, I got a really good deal on it. Right. And, 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 uh, that's why I took it, but it was an excellent hotel. Yeah, it was. I think it was only two or three stars. It was an excellent hotel. Absolutely excellent. So, so for how basic it was, it was just basically amazing. That's the only way to put it. Basically amazing. You get to the room, okay, you get to the front desk and everything, everything's beautiful. Okay, everything's beautiful. You get to the room, right? The room has a nice little bed, right? Yeah, it's not it's not luxury, but it's 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 very nicely done. It's clean. It's 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 well. Uh, they got a very nice window out there. 
Um, now the window opens up to just construction. You know, they're doing construction out there. You got a nice little TV, right? The, the shower is excellent. Again, basic, but basically amazing. Everything is so well done. Everything is basic, the sink, everything is basic. The room has a little bit of space, it's basic. You got, you got your coffee and all that, uh, your instant coffee, but it's it's, it's decent. Now, I think for, 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 you know, they always offer deals on buffets when, when you're getting the hotel. So I, I, I got the breakfast buffet, right? It's from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. You go down, excellent basic breakfast buffet. You got your watermelon, your, 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 your cantaloupe, you got your sausages, mini sausages, you got your um, eggs in different forms and everything. I mean, just an excellent overall buffet. I loved it. I loved it. It wasn't bad at all. There was nothing bad about that hotel. There was nothing bad. It was a lower star service hotel, but it was nothing bad about it. They were doing an excellent job. That, that's being best in your class. They might have been two or three stars, but they were the best in their class, man. Now I'm sitting there and, and, and I got people sitting around me and, and, and they're there around me for a reason. You know what I mean? Now I fit in there as an individual. As an individual, I fit into that class without issues at that time, in that year. Now a tip comes in that I'm going to meet somebody, right? And then it's supposed to be an old friend type of thing, but an older, older guy. And he's staying at a five-star hotel. So I go there. For, now this place blew everything out of the